New Line Learning Federation is two academies, um, both of which are being rebuilt. And what we're trying to do is um, fundamentally change education. Um, so how are we doing that? Well, we're using a lot of technology. And um, the second thing we're doing is we're building large spaces which are full of technology in order to connect with children. And the reason we're trying to connect with children is because there's a fundamental problem, which is that children grow up in a highly technological world. When they come to school, that very often is not replicated. So the question is, how do we devise um, dynamic, immersive environments which children actually want to be a part of? And to do that, we're using uh, a great deal of technology in different ways. So I'm struck by the, the nature of these very immersive sites which you can see today, like Harry Potter's site, for example, um, which are connected um, together, which brings ordinary people together to blog about this, write about it. And if you look at these sites, you see um, how engaging they are. And the real question is, well, why can't schools be like that? Uh, and how would you build a school which was like that? So in our environment, uh, what we want to do is to have large numbers of children with mobile devices um, connecting to um, these interesting uh, learning environments rapidly and simultaneously. And to do that, we need a, um, a wireless network which enables us to do that, which is why we chose Maru. So the idea for the plaza, um, essentially we started with one and we began to have an idea, how could we manipulate space and technology and the processes which are undertaken in those spaces um, so that we had a more interesting environment where children and adults wanted to be. This is one of our Cornwallis plazas. Obviously we have a range of technologies as you can see here around us. Uh, one of the massive benefits for us has been having our wireless technology put in by Meru. Now if you think about the fact that we're in a massive space, we have 120 students in here as a, a top maximum, now they can come in and use their tablets and use their laptops, they can log on to a range of things. It also means that we can have far more dynamic teaching going on in here which means we can have lots of people researching things in one area of the room, we can have pupils doing PowerPoint displays in other areas of the room. We've got so many different screens that we can show pupils work, they can interact with one another they can actually put their work onto Schoolbook, which is our, one of our internet pages where we can share ideas. And really, it's really, I don't know, jazzed up the whole education environment for our students here. So we're really, really impressed with what we have. The plaza install was uh, done in eight, beginning of April 2009. Um, it was done by one of Murray's partners, Building Zones. Uh, the install happened over one day. Um, install and configuring of the wireless um, and from that point it's just worked. Trust me if it didn't then we would certainly know about it. Maru it's just like installing a, a, a wired switch um, you know you put it in you set up your VLANs you set up your channels you turn it on uh, and you pretty much walk away and you, you never have to go back. Um, it really is a technology that, that you know just takes the headache away from wireless networks. Maru Wireless has given us the ability to provide a completely wireless environment, allowing people to collaborate and have more activity-based working. The sort of feedback we get from teachers is that it's really changed and transformed the way that they look at learning and the way they look at their teaching. So they're not teachers anymore, they're facilitators in all this. So students have a real grasp of they have to take responsibility for their learning. What can they do to make it more exciting? It's not just the sitting in rows, the chalk and talk. It's not the, you know, the old 20th century style of learning. It's what is out there in the future? How can we engage these pupils? How can we want them to make them come to school? And how do you make staff want to come to school and work really hard for our students? I think in this way, we have a more collaborative approach, which really gets them to think about, this is really fun, this is really exciting. I'm gonna to get to work with lots of different people today and I'm gonna to get to do new things. You've got plazas with 120 children trying to get online all at the same time and requiring a wired-like experience in a wireless environment. And Maru is the only vendor um, solution in the wireless space that can deliver the, the density of clients and the reliability um, of, of the wireless solution. 
Like most schools, we do have our traditional ICT suites, but the majority of our students do have wireless technology with them, be it their laptops, be it their handheld devices that they can take around the school. Now, this has enabled us to mobilise the students to be able to share, to be able to collaborate, to be able to move from classroom to classroom, but also it's been able to us to mobilise all our staff. All our staff have mobile devices. They can do simple things like registers anywhere, anytime, any building. They can complete their reports anywhere, anytime. They can log on and talk to one another all the time from one classroom to another classroom. Hey, what are you doing? Shall we get to do and plan? The same for our students. The big thing about our school is the fact that it's not just in lessons you see the students using these devices anywhere, out of about at lunchtime students we sat there, laptops on their knees, someone just outside the buildings eating their lunch on the benches in our quad areas, sharing things, showing one another things and just really that sense of using the technology as it was intended to be used in any time, anywhere, just with all the wireless technology we have. Um, with the wireless network here at school it's helped me to not only learn the classrooms but obviously I can log on at home during lunch times and especially at A level that helps me because Classes are short these days, it's only four a day, so you know, it allows me to cram in at home. Like in all secondary schools, IT departments are very busy. Um, one of the things we don't have to worry about anymore is the wireless. It works. Maru has solved our wireless headaches around the whole school. In six months, we haven't had one single support call related to the quality of the Maru wireless network that we've installed at New Line Learning Academy. Um, and compared to um, microcell um, solutions that I've installed over many years, um, that really is uh, quite unique. With Maru's um, single channel architecture and the ability to, to layer channels, um, you know, if you, if you think about it in the 5 gigahertz range, uh, where you, you've got approximately eight channels to work with, um, you could support you know, possibly a thousand clients uh, with, with Maru. And, and you just couldn't do that with any other um, vendor's solution.